Nutrafresh is an innovative young company that is playing an important role in the transformation of the agriculture sector in India. Agriculture is a very important part of the Indian economy, and I certainly see Nutrifresh both bringing in new technology, new agriculture practices, and also being an important player in the transformation of the economy as India moves forward. Nutrifresh clearly has established as the leader in hydroponic uh, farming business. I think uh, Nutrifresh is fortunate to have two entrepreneurs who bring together their passion for agriculture because they are from agriculture background and also they are trained in modern uh, uh, management and kind of marketing uh, areas. So I think they combine real uh, powerhouse in terms of building this business. My name is Sanket Mehta. My name is Ganesh Nikam. I am from an aggregate family. I work in that field, which I see from my childhood. Unlike various millennials, I am a farmer and I am proud to work on a farm. In Nutrifresh, what we are trying to do basically is we want to give the people of India produce which is pesticide free, which is residue free, at the cheapest availability on a continuous basis. So these are the three basic problems that we, a normal farmer faces which are going to try to overcome by a hydroponic farming. The bell curve was really, really skewed because there weren't any hydroponic farms that were growing at scale. All the ones that we had due diligence or gone and seen from a technology standpoint were one and two acre farms. And here we were taking up a mammoth task or basically expanding to 100% of their capacities, which was close to 10 acres. So getting the right people involved, getting the right technologies, getting the right consultants was um, a really uphill battle. And how we supplemented that in terms of marrying all these stakeholders together and yet getting a very, very cost efficient and optimal product out in terms of the facility or the factory, as I call it was the biggest challenge and I think uh, we had a lot of learnings through it, but it was definitely rewarding by the end. They are building five companies in one. It's a food production company, a farm. It's a technology company. They have to buy or build technologies to, to control how they build. It's a manufacturing operation. It ultimately is run as with the supply chain and inputs and outputs, just-in-time inventory management, etc. It's also a development company. They have to take bare earth and build assets right in a, in a built environment and last but not least it's a sales and marketing company they have to build a brand access channels reach the market now they've shown great promise in their early builds now it's about accessing capital building upon that foundation and running to capture a piece of the indian cea market that they helped to create i was excited about nutrifish because it combines a number of investment themes First of all, it's a big play on um, organized retail growth in India. You know, when there are approximately 13 million stores selling goods to Indian consumers, only 8,000 of it is organized retail, which is not even, you know, 10%. Second, it's a big opportunity for the country where 50% of the population is dealing with agriculture, but the productivity and contribution to GDP is very low. And obviously with the, you know, massive urbanization that's going on, you need to provide, you know, a quality food which is fresh with low logistics cost. Nutrifresh or hydroponic companies in general are going to be very vital to the most important theme of the next decade, which is around sustainability, net zero, ESG. You know, you see this in every sector. Even in corporates, you see that in terms of the initiative every major corporate is taking. Everyone has announced a variety of initiatives in the next 10 years on ESG. You see that on sustainability in a large way. And same thing with carbon emissions. What's interesting with hydrophonics is this mix of agri-tech and being environmentally friendly. This is going to be part of the United Nations Sustainability Agenda as well. Because UN Sustainability Program, if you ESG program, if you look at, they also talk of the same thing. How we are from only the green, uh, this uh, green revolution and zero emission concepts came in. And they are, they are asking for a commitment from the world. It 
is if you look at most hydroponic companies elsewhere, they start with one or two products and then depending on how the market reacts to those products, it keeps increasing its uh, portfolio of fruits and vegetables. Nutrifresh recognizes that the actual opportunity is knowledge. So it started with a wider range of product with lesser depth in each product. And it's now allowing the market to determine which product the market wants and which product it doesn't want. It already has knowledge built up on 44 different SKUs. And over time, it'll basically reduce that SKU portfolio and increase the depth of each, each product. This is a very important uh, USP. They have deployed technology in a significant way. They've been able to attract and train uh, particularly women uh, employees who can, you know, who has actually picked this up and kind of can consistently deliver this. I work for two years. 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 Harvesting, seeding, painting, cleaning, purna, kam karte. Nutri Fresh Company mode galay pas na baal cha jag kala ki kas tas kas na hi sarva zagaila sikle. Ja apas unmi Nutri Fresh Company mode zai lagle the apas na mi maaz vyavastit sagla ba gai lagle mulan sogare maya garat chipan sangli sudar razali. And I'm thinking specifically about their tie-up with the women's center community, the Tigris Moms, uh, which has been key to recruiting neighbor to neighbor folks into high quality, desirable positions, uh, therefore creating stable families and strong communities. And this all really drives home Nutrifresh's commitment to both improving the health and the wealth of those around them. It was one of the few companies which had cracked some part of selling directly to the consumer and creating a brand. Most hydrophonic companies generally will tend to be more B2B, where you will supply to another intermediary, and then you're dependent on that intermediary. But the ability to serve the customer and create a brand awareness of Nutrifresh, I think that's what's going to be critical and separate them in the future. The total consumer base that we have across Mumbai, Pune, and other areas where we deliver it directly from our farm to their plates is around 15,000 homes. And another B2B consumers that we deliver or give are majorly the modern trades, which are the today's Swiggy, Zomato, Zeptos, and other places. We already deliver it to them. Apart from that, we gave to various B2B channels across India. So we are right now spread across India and we are delivering to various places in India now. So for me, success for Nutrifresh is a company which has already done quite well on its own today, absolutely organically, they've got 10,000 homes. Thank you. Which they're delivering, produced to, which is approximately 40,000 people. See how fresh it is. Now you take this Mumbai-Pune market, which is about 35 million people. And let's say in the next five years, you can basically address just 5% of the population, which would roughly be about a million and a half, or 400,000 homes. So suddenly you're talking of 10,000 homes going to 400,000 homes. That's a 40x growth. And you're only talking of touching 5% of the addressable population. Typically, a hydroponic farm is, in India particularly, owner-driven model. An operator-driven model is where somebody actually else has a parcel of land and then you have knowledge of how to operate in a, a hydroponic farm and you actually go and partner with them. You use their land and you essentially guarantee them uh, some minimum return on the yield. Now what happens is in that model, the person who owns the land puts up all the capex. Nutrifresh then with its own knowledge goes and operates those farms and having operated those farms, any produce that's come out of those farms 
is then either bought out by Nutrifresh on a guaranteed pricing basis, assuring a specific minimum yield to the you know landowner, or Nutrifresh decides not to do that if the owner doesn't want to do that, and they actually go and sell it through their channels on a revenue share basis. So. Therefore, scalability of that business actually is very possible to do because Nutrifresh doesn't necessarily have to invest in land if it can actually demonstrate the fact that it can produce and has high yields on its existing location. They'll be able to do that on an India-wide basis quite easily where somebody else puts up the capex. So your returns on capital employed as an investor in Nutrifresh uh, are then quite robust. I think they are going to be able to grow to uh, at least by 100 to 150 percent further more than where they are at right now. And as we go ahead, we are trying out multiple models in terms of lease to buy, in terms of a doco model, which is dealer owned company operated. Coco, which we are already doing, Coco is company owned company operated. So a mixture of all these models which deliver the best kind of returns is something that we are aiming for. And the target is that we reach 150 to 200 acres in the next uh, three to five years time. We need to get a lot of vegetables in every house in Nutrifish. It's so fresh and quality and wise that we need to get a lot of vegetables in every house. It is not because it should be in every house. There is a small child in every house. मेरे घर में खुद तीन साल की बेटी है तो मुझे वो लगता है कि मेरी बेटी अगर ये चीज खा सकती है तो किसी के भी बेटा या बेटी वो चीज खानी चाहिए उनके हेल्थ के लिए उनके बेटरमेंट के लिए उनके फ्यूचर के लिए वो चीज बहुत बढ़िया है तो न्यूट्रिफिश हैज़ टू बिकम अ हाउसहोल्ड प्रोडक्ट